With just two weeks left of 2021, President Biden's hope for passing his ambitious social spending and climate bill has faded, at least for now. Among the obstacles, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, who is reluctant to endorse the expanded child tax credit program that is set to expire soon. Democrats are now refocusing their efforts on voting rights legislation. Christina Ruffini has more from the White House. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Dana. President Biden acknowledged earlier this week that his nearly $2 trillion social spending bill won't make it in time for Christmas. I, I hear the frustration, but let's not deny the impact that we've had. In a late night talk show appearance, Vice President Kamala Harris defended the long awaited and long delayed Build Back Better plan. So we're going to keep pushing, and we're in extensive talks across the aisle with both folks in terms of Republicans and Democrats, but we're not going to give up on it at all. After passing the House last month, the Build Back Better bill remains stuck in the Senate, where it faces procedural hurdles. The parliamentarian has not been able to look at all the pieces yet, and so she has a few weeks of work left. And pushback from West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, who wants to rework a proposed extension for the child tax credit. So I can't think of any more important thing to do than to reduce child poverty in the United States. On Thursday, the president said in a statement he and his team were in close contact with Manchin and will advance this work together over the days and weeks ahead. The president requested more time to continue his negotiations, and so we will keep working, working with him hand in hand to bring this bill over the finish line. Meanwhile, the White House is renewing its focus on another stall Democratic priority voting rights. This new sinister combination of voter suppression and election, subver election subversion is un-American. Democratic efforts to pass election reform measures have been consistently blocked by Republicans, who call it a federal power grab. But yesterday, President Biden told students at South Carolina State University, an historically black college, the battle's not over. We must pass the Freedom to Vote Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. We must. We're going to keep up the fight until we get it done. The White House says President Biden is getting regular updates from his team on this issue and that voting rights is a priority for the administration. But, Dana, it's not one that's going to happen until at least next year. All right, Christina, thank you.